Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Today we are finally able to test remote play on the PS Vita TV. Uh, we waited, what, six months for this feature, which should have been out day one, but then we also had to wait four months extra for the PS4 to come out in Japan, and then only, what, a whole two months after the release of the PS4 did we finally get the uh, software update today for the PS Vita TV to run remote play of PS4 games. This is the feature that is going to give PS Vita TV and a, a, you know, a reason for ex existence. To make remote play work on your PS Vita TV and your PS4, what you will need is to update your PS4 to system software 1.7. You will also need to update your PS Vita TV to software 3.15. I've already done the software update for PS4, so we'll be doing the software update now for the PS Vita. And uh, you will also obviously need two TVs. Um, for now, I am using a DualShock 4, with my PS4, and I'm using a DualShock 3 with my PS Vita TV, but um, after I have set it up, I will be um, testing it with a DualShock 4 as well, just so you can see whether the um, touchpad features also come through with remote play. Okay, so it may seem obvious, but to run PS Vita TV remote play, you will need two TVs. I have my PS Vita TV set up here on the left, and my PS4 set up here on the right. Um, I have already installed system software 1.7, so I'll just go in here to system information and show you that uh, system information here at the top and you can see I have system software 1.7 running there on the um, second line. Next you will need to update your PS Vita TV software so I'm now controlling my PS Vita TV with the DualShock uh, 3. Just go over to system update and let's run the uh, software update. It says a new version of the system software is available version 3.15 that's what we want so go ahead and click uh, next, not cancel like I just did. Read every line of this uh, agreement and then say OK, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to click accept. With the remote play feature in PS4 Link, you can now automatically register a PS4 system using the internet. PS4 Link has been added to the home screen. Uh, this application can be used to connect with a PS4 system. So really, 3.15 on the PS Vita TV does nothing except add PS4 Link, which is what we kind of wish we'd had for the past two months. Click update. There. Okay, says it's got about a minute and a half, so I'll uh, fast forward this bit. Please wait. Please wait. Okay, and we're connected to the PS Vita TV. Okay, so we are now running System Software 3.15, and if we just look around, PS4 Link. So there you go, PS4 Link is now an official icon on the PS Vita TV um, here. So we can go ahead and click that. It says, uh, the PS4 system's screen can be displayed on the PS Vita system, and you can operate the PS4 system using the PS Vita system. Wow, that, they use the word Vita like 10 times in the same sentence. Okay, press next. Searching via the internet. Okay, it's now searching for our PS4. Um, presumably, you have to be signed into the same PSN account, which I am. It has now said Nihongo Gamer has connected and is using Remote Play here on the PS4. And we're in! We now have PS4 running on two TVs. I will now show you how much delay we've got. Nearly delayless, if that's a word. There's nearly no time delay here. And I, I guess if you're familiar with the PS Vita, this is very, very similar performance. Um, so there you have it! Remote play running on PS Vita TV! Yes! This is awesome! Okay, kind of freaking out a little bit here. Let's do something exciting like play a game. So I just want to show you that you can use a DualShock 4 with your PS Vita TV. Um, it's hard to prove that this is not connected to the PS4, but it is in fact connected to the PS Vita TV. So if I hold down the PS button, you can see it controls only the options on the PS Vita TV. But this is, yes, a, P a DualShock 4 running on a PS Vita TV on remote play controlling everything on a PS4. That's a mouthful, but now you've seen it, it does work. Something that's quite interesting of, to note is that you can use two different controllers on a PS Vita TV. If I press the PS button here, um, like this, it will switch over to user 1 
uh, and I can use my DualShock 4 to control um, the PS4 as well. So I can have both of these controllers at the same time and presumably I'm able to play um, two-player games as well. I'm going to run uh, Knack just to show you that two-player does work. Okay, so Knack is now up and running through remote play and I have got player one's controller here and here we are playing in remote play. Um, there is a little bit of delay, but it's more or less the same as playing with a PS Vita TV, uh, playing with a PS Vita. So as you can see, I'm pressing jump, and you have about this much delay. But, totally acceptable, and if you've been playing remote play on your PS Vita anyway, you will be kind of used to this, um, anyway. Now to, um, try two player. I'm pretty sure that if I have the second player here, they can just press, um, this button and appear. And we now have two controllers hooked up to a PS Vita TV, playing two-player um, in remote play. That is something special that the PS Vita cannot do. This is, um, we're now able to play two-player, both hooked up to the PS Vita, because it's a PS Vita TV. Does work, you saw it here first. All right. Remote play. Oh, I died. If you were to switch off the power on your second player controller here, like so. Okay, you should be able to see, now that I've switched off the um, DualShock 3, I should be able to um, use my controller hooked up to the PS4 to log in as a second character. So this controller is now hooked up to the PS4. This controller is hooked up to the PS Vita TV, and they are both able to play simultaneously in remote play together. So that is really, really nice. Maybe if one person were to go upstairs and one person were to stay downstairs, you can still play games together, um, you know, wherever you want to. So you really have a lot of freedom. How about a bit of Final Fantasy? Go ahead and click Final Fantasy 14. The uh, mouse doesn't seem to do anything yet, but that's not to say that it won't. I'm using the DualShock 4 on the PS Vita TV, but I am actually able to use the mouse pointer, so thank goodness that does actually work. See, we are logging in now to Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, so running around FF14 now, able to move around as normal. There's practically no delay. I mean, this is, again, really is a very similar experience to playing on the PS Vita. Um, just want to try a few things. The pad button works exactly as you would expect it. I'm able to tab around the menus by clicking this button here. Everything you would expect um, from a normal controller in PS4, uh, FF14 should work more or less exactly the same. Um, another nice thing about PS Vita TV remote play is my layout is the same. When you play on a PS Vita remote play, it reverts all the layouts back to the original size, um, but now that it's on PS Vita TV, it retains the settings that you have set for your PS4, so you don't lose any of that. Um, and you can just play as normal, I just move the cursor out of the way. Um, there's about this much delay, so again, practically unnoticeable, um, unless you're doing something really, really complicated. FF14 running on remote play. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's, uh, let's cast a spell or something, do something impressive. Nice thing about, uh, a DualShock 4, obviously, is you have all the buttons. I mean, uh, just little things like being able to zoom in and out. That was a bit of a pain on the PS Vita. Um, but PS Vita TV, exactly the same experience as you would expect from your PS4. Beautiful. Very happy about that. Oh, wow. This is gonna be really good. Good game. Highly recommend it if you, uh, if you like all the old school Final Fantasy stuff. Obviously, all the buttons work as you'd expect. Um, I can still uh, click the share button and it will still um, do a screenshot for me. I can still click options, move through all the menus um, like you would expect. Okay, so that's about all the time we have for Final Fantasy XIV. Let's go ahead and uh, log out and exit the game here. Okay, you're probably wondering what shooting and FPS games feel like, so let's go ahead and test Killzone Shadowfall. Go ahead and load it up. Okay, so Killzone is now up and running on our PS Vita TV. Again, practically no delay, or if there is a delay, it's really unnoticeable. Look at that. That 
There really is very little delay. That's very, very impressive. Okay, so now we have um, the level loaded up in Killzone Shadow Fall on remote play. We have about this much um, delay, which is totally acceptable. Um, I think this part of the game you have to use something on the slide pad. So let's see if the slide pad works. It does. You can slide left, right, and all that good stuff. Right, so just use that. He does a bit of shooting for us, we hide over here. So we just swipe over to the right, use the zip line, just like you would normally, press L1. Bob's your uncle! Look how good that is. That's really, really good. Shooting... PS Vita TV, obviously we get to use the DualShock 4 or DualShock 3, so you can push the button in to run like this. Um, that is amazing because that was a pain in the rear end um, to do on the PS Vita. So that is great that it works so well on here. You have all the buttons you need, plus you can use those menus in the top um, using just the slide pad here in the middle. Brilliant, brilliant. If you are just playing through the single ca player um, campaign, totally, totally doable, even with a bog standard um, wireless router like the one that I'm using now. Okay, so I have now hooked up the PS Vita TV to the PS4 using uh, the LAN cable only. Um, I've deactivated, the PS Vita does not know the password to the Wi-Fi, so it shouldn't be connected via Wi-Fi. Um, and as you can see, it looks pretty much the same to me. I don't think it's um, really that much faster, but just in case, I will run up a game just to see. Um, and as you can see, pretty much the same. Almost no delay whatsoever. Um, and in any case, Knack has a bit of a delay when you jump anyway. Um, so, <laughs> um, but as you can see, totally playable. Um, really makes very little difference to the gameplay. Probably no difference between the Wi-Fi connection and the LAN cable. Pretty much the same, if you ask me. Let's just try it with Killzone as well. Okay, so we have Killzone up and running now. Um, as you can see, uh, a little bit of delay. Again, really very similar to what we experienced with the Wi-Fi connection. I would say this is not a great deal different. What's interesting is you can see that the control data is actually being sent to the PS4 practically with no delay. The only real delay is, is the, the video coming back to the, the PS Vita TV. Okay, that's about all we have time for today. Just wanted to show you that PS Vita TV does run remote play as of today, April 30th, 2014. Um, it runs beautifully. Um, I had it with a LAN cable and I had it with Wi-Fi only and it was more or less the same. You can um, judge for yourself. Um, also, I wanted to show you that DualShock 4 does work with PS Vita TV. Um, not only that, but you can also hook up two controllers and play two-player PS4 games. So that is a real, real benefit of PS Vita TV for remote play. And if you are in two separate rooms, you can switch this controller off, and you can actually have one DualShock 4 connected to your PS4, and you can have one DualShock uh, 3 or 4 connected to your PS Vita TV, and then you can play two-player games in different rooms, which is nice. Um, obviously the real benefit of DualShock 4 is you've got the um, touchpad here, which is really useful for games like Final Fantasy or um, Killzone, you need to have those um, uh, shortcuts there on the top. Also you've got L3 and R3, which makes it so much easier to run than uh, if you are playing on the PS Vita, so definitely my preferred remote play experiences on the PS Vita TV. Don't forget that you need to have a Japanese account if you're going to be using um, a PS Vita TV and if you're going to be using um, remote play you need to have the same account logged in on both systems. But yeah, just really really excited that remote play is working now. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and do all that good stuff and um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye! It's bonus candy time! Monster Hunter Quest Assort Candy. Special candy for uh, Monster Hunters only? I, d I don't know. It comes with um, a various various kinds of stickers. Now let's go ahead and open it up. That's quite exciting. First piece, I guess some kind of joke or something. Yeah, well, <laughs> the meat with the extra jaggy creature traps. Various types of food, restorative items. Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, that's kind of Monster Hunter related. It's something. I have no idea. I think it's not really related. Oh, it's really sweet. Ooh. That's quite cool. I think that would look pretty bad. Um, now I just need to find a bunch of friends who I can um, palm these off on. <laughs>